Take a moment right here Feeling like it's out gear Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my hair Hey y'all I'm back again with another video Hey So actually I wore this look to class I only had like two classes But you know I was just like Why not I feel like doing my makeup And I kind of want it to look kind of bomb So we're gonna go with it Anyways, y'all, let's get into the video. I am setting my eyes same way that I always do with the MAC powder. Okay, so first shade, I'm using Makeup Geek. And this is the Morocco shade. Same blending brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It comes in all our palettes. So I'm using that brush, and I am applying this as my transition shade. And it's the best orange shade ever. Okay, and then I'm going to go into Cocoa Bear. And I'm applying that to my crease. I'm just gonna keep applying it and keep applying it and keep applying it until I get the color that I want it to be. I want it to be a little bit deeper, so I just like kept applying. And now we get into the shiny, sparkly, whatnot stuff. Hmm. So this is the in the spotlight, right? Um, wait, y'all, I gotta check. Cause sometimes I get the names mixed up, but I'm pretty sure that it's in the spotlight yeah okay so it is in the spotlight and i'm just gonna keep applying that to my lid as you see here i did spray that brush with some and um fix plus spray so it can be like a little bit more shimmery a little bit more popping then i moved on to the shade nor from anastasia beverly hills just a matte black shade i'm just going to apply it to the inner corner and the outer corner because i kind of wanted a halo effect on my eyes you know and then i went back with that blending brush and i just blended it out because you you know you want your colors to be blended and as i was blending i started to see that it kind of turned the in the spotlight shade a little blue but i was like okay i'm digging it so i left it like that then I want a little bit more glitter, so I went to my NYX Liquid Crystal Liner in the shade Crystal Hip. And I applied it to that in the spotlight shade, and I just dabbed it on there a little bit, you know. Look at my dab. <laughs> so that basically finished the eye. I know that was like super quick, but yeah. That basically finished it, you know. It's, it's really easy, y'all, to just get like a popping eye right quick. You know so I just applied some mascara from Maybelline and then I was like okay I need to highlight my brow bone because my brows are kind of fleeky today so I took the Laura Geller Gilded Honey and just a little simple little brush and just applied that to my brow bone and now I'm gonna moisturize his face and I'm using the cocoa butter however y'all this is like for stretch marks but I put it on my face because honestly it's been making my face like really smooth and creamy looking lately so I was like, I'm digging it so I'm gonna keep using it all right, and then I went into the Ula Henriksen Sheer Transformation Moisturizer. This shit is bomb and definitely worth the money. If you got dry skin like me, I definitely recommend it to you. And then for foundation, I used my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in Makayo. I need to learn how to pronounce that because I know I'm not pronouncing it right. But yeah, as you see here, just keep applying that to my face. And then I'm going to blend it all out with my Damp Beauty Blender. Alright, so after I get done blending all this out, because you want to make sure your foundation is super duper 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 blended, y'all, like that. So I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fine. And I'm just going to apply that under my eyes, you know, brighten underneath the eyes some. And I'm going to blend that out. So then I was like, okay, this isn't giving me that brightened look that I want. So I moved on to a different concealer. And I went to the Smash Smashbox Studio Skin Concealer in the shade Medium Dwarf. And I was like, all right, that's the color that I'm looking for. And I'm just going to apply it to the same areas that I always apply. You guys already know this. And I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. And I use the same end that I did when I applied my foundation. I'm just going to blend it out and then I'm going to set it with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder as you guys see here. Yeah. 
So I definitely get those smile lines a lot, which is why I'm applying the Sasha Buttercup setting powder heavily right there on the sides of my mouth because I start to crease later on throughout the day when I smile a lot, you know. So I'm going to put on the Naomi lashes from Lashes by Lena. These lashes are amazing. I kind of tore them, but I fixed it. And I'm going to have to order more because these lashes are my new current fave and I can't get rid of them. And then I'm going to blend everything out, you know, like you see there. All right, now it's time to bronze up this face. And I'm using the Ebony Bronzer from CoverGirl. I always use this bronzer, but guys, I can't find another one. Can you give me recommendations for a new one? Because I honestly can't find another. All right, and now I'm going to snatch that nose a little bit with my fiber brush from BH Cosmetics, like you see here. And a little colors to my face today with the Milani blush and this is in the shade Red Vino. And this blush is freaking bomb and I only paid like $7 I think for it. I bought it like two years ago but I don't know it was cheap and the blush is bomb. Alright, so I'm going to clean up that blush and contour with a little bit of Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And then I just go right back over it with my blending brush, well not blending brush, my powder brush and just blend it all out to make sure everything's nice and blended. Alright, and then I'm going to go back into that North shade. I'm just going to put it on my lower lash line. And I'm going to blend it out with my blending brush. Make sure it's nice and blended. That's key, guys. It's key. Now for these lips. I'm using a Zork Brown Liner. And this is from Wet n Wild, I believe. But yeah, so I'm going to keep lining my lips. Alright, and now I'm going to move on to the Kapow shade from ColourPop Cosmetics. It's a nice like pink, gray, deep tone lipstick and it is matte however I wasn't feeling matte because I haven't been lately so of course I added some gloss onto it and I applied a little bit too much of the lipstick so I went back with the liner just to make sure everything was nice and blended out so I went to um, my gloss that I just bought and it is wet and wild and it's just a clear lip gloss and it's bomb and I just applied it I dabbed a little bit on my lips just to give me that gloss look and I was like all right girl that was that was it that's what I was looking for and as you can tell by the excitement on my face I'm using the artist couture diamond glow powder in conceited and y'all this highlighter just, wait just just wait till I put it on look at that look at, look at that that shit is bomb as hell like I love this highlighter I'm definitely gonna order another one because I know I'm gonna go through it like super quick like it's just bomb as hell look at it oh I'm just sitting here watching it like it's bomb so yeah you know Alright guys and girls, I finished this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Holla.